So you've bought yourself a rifle, you've done a bit of shooting, and you've decided that you want to get into reloading. I'm going to run you through what you need to reload bullets cheaply and very accurately. So these are the tools you'll need to reload your bullets. This is a Lee reloading kit. I bought this 10 years ago for $35. That's it there. So there was a Guinness World Record for the thousand yard range and it was held for seven years and it was made with cartridges that were reloaded with a kit just like this. Over here there's a few additional tools you'll have to buy. This is a shell holder. This is the chamfer tool. And this is a, a length gauge with a cutter on it because after you after you fire a, um, a cartridge, it gets a little bit longer, so you have to cut him back the length. And then this is just a little funnel I made to help me pour the gunpowder in, and I'll show you how that works later. And then you need a soft hammer. This hammer's made of it's got a copper end on it, but this ends aluminium and nice and soft so that it damages the hammer and doesn't damage your reloading gear. So these are the empty shells. I buy these already made up bullets from the shop and then after I fire them I just keep the shells to use again for reloading. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out this spent primer. So the next step is we're going to check the length of the cartridge. Sometimes they stretch a bit after they've been fired. So we're going to put him into the shell holder here. We screw that up and hold him in there. Then we grab our link guide with our cutting tool on the end. And he just goes in there and we just give him a little twist. And a tiny little bit got shaved off. So if you have a look you can see the the shiny bit and that's just the tiny little brass that got shaved off the end. The next step is we're going to give him a little bit of a, a chamfer on the inside and the outside because that little bit got shaved off. So we've got the chamfer tool and we just put him in there and just give him a little twist and then we put him in here, give him a little twist. And now you can see we've got just a tiny chamfer on the inside and the outside and that'll make the cartridge seat into the rifle nice and it'll make the projectile seat in there nice. So after you've fired off the cartridge, the neck here expands a bit from the force of all the gas because the, the gunpowder has exploded in here and she's forced the projectile out. So this neck's gotten a little bit bigger, so you can see she's a bit of a sloppy fit there, and you don't want that. So the next step is we're going to resize the neck of the cartridge. So now we have to put a new primer into the shell. These are large rifle primers because I'm reloading 243 here. So this is a brand new primer. Two fits in there. And you just put this on top. And you get this fella. Put him straight in there. And you hammer him in. So you can feel with your fingers, you can feel it being seated into the end of the cartridge. And when you feel this stop going down, you probably seat it in. So have a bit of a look, and yeah that's looking good. You see how he's mounted flush, you have to make sure he's flush, and that he's not sticking out at all. 
So with our primer seated in there, we're gonna take the cartridge out of the die now. So we're just gonna sit him back on here and we'll give him a little tap. And now he's out, he's sitting there. Our next step is we're gonna put a scoop of powder in him. I'm using a 80 grain projectile and I'm using AR2209 smokeless powder. So this is the right size scoop. It's written on the scoop, it's a 3.1 cc scoop. So this is the right size scoop for this load that I'm doing today. So we're gonna pass the scoop through the gunpowder. You can see it's a bit heaped up. So we're just gonna go over the top with a credit card because we just want it to be a nice level scoop. We don't want to put too much powder in there. And I've got this little funnel that I made and sometimes my hands are a bit shaky. And then I just gently pour the gunpowder in, trying not to spill any. Take the funnel off. Inside here there's a bit of a chamfer and the gunpowder, the few little granules sometimes get poured up and so I just give him a little tap and that just makes sure that all the gunpowder's gone down there into the cartridge. So this is a projectile I'm using today. It's a 80 grain Spitzer boat tail. What the bow tail means, if you see on the back, it's got this taper. And so you'd almost say it's a bit more sort of teardrop shaped. Because why I like to use these is because having this taper, it makes the bullet have less drag because there's less of a vacuum behind it from the taper. And that means it shoots very flat over long distances. So to put him into the cartridge, you just let him go in there. Let me grab this. He goes on top. Let me give him a little tap. Take him out. And now we've got a brand new bullet ready to shoot. I'll have to take him down the paddock and give him a go.